PJ's on Hops here. Uh, I wanted to share a quick video on how I play Voltorb Flip in, from the Heart Gold Soul Silver game. Not a whole lot of uh, really quality videos on this, so I thought I'd share my method for playing. Uh, so we're going to start at level one, and I'm going to show you guys what methodology I use. Uh, first thing I look for on the board is any zero Voltorb lines. So we got two of them right here. You can automatically clear those out because you know there are no Voltorbs in those lines. And then I look for anything that adds up to five. So anything that adds up to five, two coins, three Voltorbs, this line isn't worth anything. Our goal here in this game is to clear out any twos and threes. Ones and Voltorbs don't matter. We can leave those alone and still win the game. So we're gonna we're gonna avoid lines at five. If you want to make little notations, you can uh, you know you can use the memo pad. You click on on the uh, square you want, and you can leave a memo. For me, I at the beginning I would put Voltorbs just to remind me that I don't care about these lines. These lines aren't good for me. Um, so you can see this line adds up to five. So we can eliminate these. We can eliminate these. You got six here, so one of these is going to be good for us. Seven here, so two, probably both of these are good for us. And then uh, eight here, so probably both of these are good for us. Here, it's a little bit guesswork. Um, I, I don't do too much analysis because I try to play the game quickly. But um, I, first, I just eliminate the zeros. I eliminate the ones I know we don't want. And then I do kind of guesswork from there. What's the most likely? This only adds up to six, so only one of these is going to be good for us. So we won't start there, we'll try to get information elsewhere. Seven and six in this line, this one's probably okay. So yeah, we get one of our twos. Six here, this one's probably good. And that's it. As long as we see the, the game board cleared, you can see all the rest of these were ones. So we just went with the most likely, and it ended up working for us. But it is somewhat guesswork. You'll lose the game somewhat this way. But I find it's a pretty easy way to play the game. But that's my method for doing it. Uh, it's pretty simple. I don't know about you guys, but I'm personally having a lot of fun playing this game. So yeah, this is not the line we want. Uh, we have two extra points here that we already got. Um, three extra points here, which we've already got. So this line's done. Uh, this line has a point, but this one's done. So we know that this is the good one. And there we go, game clear. So I do some guesswork, but even if you want to go quickly through it, you can just kind of hit where the odds are. You won't be right 100% of the time, but it's probably the quickest way to farm coins. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any uh, questions or any comments, feel free to post down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.